actually got a hold of the uh, DOS, the old DOS based program, yeah. programming software. Because Motorola is very picky about who they give that stuff to. So of course, they want you to go to their their dealer sure. and charge you fi- sometimes anywhere between fifty and a hundred bucks to pro- the newer stuff per rating. Kind of yeah, the yeah. absolutely. So I actually knew a guy. I talked to him back east. He's a friend of a friend of mine. Way to go. Actually, took an old HD one thousand. Was able to program some of the ham frequencies in it. A lot of that old stuff is. You see a lot of that stuff in flea market for sale. They're too converted to ham. Two meter stuff or 900 meg stuff. Yeah. In fact, most of the 900 meg ham equipment that's on the air is modified Motorola stuff. Well, this is 10 feet and this is. Yeah, actually, even picked up an old uh, GE. Because originally, before they switched over, Milpitas, uh, at least Milpitas PD was using old GE radios. Yeah. So oh, I picked one yeah, of those up and actually wound up like reselling it to the East Coast. Got like 300 bucks for it. Cool. So, so you're fishing on it to do it? Yep. <laughs> you can do it. Because again, there again, GE was really kind of held their programming software. It's basically the, the same way government does with like the nuclear launch code. Yeah. They don't just let anyone. No, they're so terrorists and shit countries like that. <laughs> yep. Alright, you say I just have one just like it. And it was, uh, you're actually kind of my inspiration there when I finally decided I want to put a camera deal with it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get an easier thing. I'm going to pull this off. And I can't wait to buy some now, so I saw yours, and I'm like, okay, good, it's just done. Yes. That's good. The last year of it. Yeah. Made the 2000. Yeah, just one, two, three, six. Yes. I am picking one up in a couple of days. A buddy of mine sold me one for $750. What kind of condition is it? It's not bad. Paint needs some love, but everything smog wise is there. I don't want to be there. Not there. And interiors in decent shape. Dash is okay. factory. Carpets from the place. Okay. I'm going to talk my neighbor in the office for $75. Okay. That's what it does. Sounds good. I've okay. done a lot of engine swaps, so I know the Bye bye. Mine was so late in the year that half of the parts are 329 parts. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, probably horrible to figure out what parts are what, but yeah. it's still pretty cool that it was that late. 19274. Sounds like what happened with Freightliner when they bought out Ford's uh, Class 8 to be buddy by the parts guy over at Mission Valley Ford. And he said, the shitty thing is when they had that year or two, the first year or two after uh, Freightliner bought out, they had like, three years ago. You could, you could go to have a Sterling, right? Early Sterling or a late Ford. You need to look it up by old outmoded Ford part number, or a freight line part number, or a Sterling part number. And it's like, and each one would be just a little bit different. But who was it that put a shoe in that? Was it, was it Saw or no? No, I think it was it was a Jensen. Yes, the early Jensen's had like five or six different streamers put in them depending on the year, model, make, I mean, where they can get parts for them. Yeah. So if you need a right here, Jensen, you need to take it out and see what it is to know what to replace it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 